and welcome to a Diablo 3 video. This is going to be a weekly video that I make, basically going through the seasonal leaderboards to see how people are progressing. This is it's currently Saturday morning. I'll be doing these as many Saturday mornings as I can, if I remember. But this is basically what we are looking for as guides to what other people are doing. So we'll start with the Bob Baron, and we have a barbarian called ng with a 110 and a 1306 nice to see the barbarian doing high grs and the charge barb is back by the looks of it yep charge barb is back i was using mortal king six piece and Rico's four piece it's nice to see charge barb back on the leaderboard we also have kurt who's done a 108 also using the charge barb I don't think we've seen many. That's going to be a whirlwind bar by the looks of it. No, that is a Horda bob. And there we have it. A have the ancient barbarian in the top three with a 107. And let's have a look at this one. There's another have of the ancient. So it's good to see a lot of barbarians, a lot of different barbarian specs, basically. I'd love to see the whirlwind spec get up there as well. This looks like a whirlwind build. Nope. He's just using the transbog. But yeah, 110 for NG, done it in 30, no 6, 11, 47 Paragon. Good start for the Barbarian. The Crusaders, we have Englas, who's done a 108 at the minute. The Condemn Bill looks to be the one pushing on. This is what I'm currently pushing on as well. Ooh, nice Prime Lynch weapon, lucky bugger. But yep, yeah, everyone seems to be using the Condemn Build. I ain't gonna obviously can't pronounce that name, but that is another Condemn. Condemn, sorry, using the Smite Reaping. No idea why. Nash, what you're using? Condemn and Condemn. Yeah, it seems to be Condemn pushing the top of the leaderboard. Because see that's done a 108, 1434 with just over a thousand Paragon, which is not bad. Demon Hunt as Demon Hunt as as always. Solid, solid start by the Demon Hunter with the Impale build. Gets you really high for not the greatest of gear. As always, hits a brick wall, but at the minute, it's a Natalia's. Natalia's Cluster Barrow? I don't even know what spec you call this one. That's top of the leaderboard. Four piece Marauders, six piece Natalia's. Currently top of the leaderboard, which is nice. Nice to see a, a complete different spec, and there's the Unhallo Essence multi shot build. Nice Prime Lynch and Yangzu curve. And there in third place is the Shadows Mantle Impale build. So that's three specs in the top three. Really, really good to see in this season. I hope everyone's enjoying the season. Everyone seems to be enjoying them with all the different specs. But let's have a look at this spec, which is Sol Winners. Done a 105 and 13 52, obviously using that build. Paragon 1100, just over 1100. So, quickly out of the mugs, I've got a feel wave of light is basically taken over on the mugs. Let's have a quick sky. Yep, wave of light. There's one, two, and three. Can't really tell with any more, but I think they're all wave of light. Yep. So that's a Vi Vico, if that's how you spell it, 1380 Paragon, 108 and a 1322, so everyone is using that Mugs Wave of Light, which is obviously 6 piece, Sun Ruko set, Wave of Light Explosion. Like Necromancers, I'm assuming it's a Corpse Lancer build, let's have a look, yep, Pestilence, Corpse Lance build. Obviously, last season was Tragos, and there we go. In second place, we have the Tragos Corpse Lancer build. So, Necrobites is still solid. Using two separate builds for to get on the leaderboards. So, let's have a look at Art. Art is only 111 and a 1239. He has, ooh, 16, 1670 Paragon nearly. So that is a very nice start for the Necromancers. Two different builds there you can use. Same build, different sets, if you know what I mean. Let's have a look at the Witch Doctor. We have Agoz, who's done a 104 and a 13 at 36. He's got 1100 Paragon. He's running a Arakia's Firebat, is that? Yeah, Arakia's Firebat. I think that's still going to be the way to go. 
Eat me on words, Jade Harvester. Locus Swarm, that's nice. Okay, so there's another Jade Harvester one, and what we've got in third, that's an Arak as well. Fifth. Oh, it seems to be Arak is Firebat, but Plagans jumped in there with a 103 doing a Jade Harvester build. So let's have a look, Arak is Firebat. Nice. 104 to 30, 36. And finally, we're finished with the Wizards. We have Spry. Spry's up there again. I remember him from last season or the season before. It says they all seem to be running. I've just taken my own words again because that shows how much I looked at these leaderboards beforehand. B is using a DMO wizard, which is obviously the Frozen Orb. At the minute, there's a lot of people using the Meteor build, which is that one there, which is the Firebats. Firebird, should I say? So that is good to see. There's a DMO, there's a Firebird up there. DMO is currently top, which is that the best build? I guess we'll only find out at the end of the season, but DMO, so we've got Spry with 108 and a 1357 1300 Paragon So that is the leaderboards basically for whoever's topping the leaderboards and what uh, specs are going. Let's have a look at the tiers. We've got 108 for the Wizard 104 for the Doctor Was that 111? 111 for the Necrovisor, you got the 108 for the Mug. Demon Hunter's 105. Crusaders 108. And last, the Barbarian is 110. So everybody's over 100. The lowest was 105, which was Demon Hunter, I think. I just saw there, yep. Demon Hunter's lowest, and Necromancer's highest. Just behind, followed by the Barbarian, which is nice to see Barbarian doing a lot of damage again. Which Doctor will go flying ahead, but Necrovance is always going to be the solid one. But yeah, good to see. So that is week one wrap up. I am using obviously the Condemn build you can see right in front of you. So I'll try to push as high as I can at the top 1000 by the end of the season. I'm going to try this year. I say this every year, but I am going to try this year. So thanks for watching and see you next week.